Hey guys, good morning. It's Cecilia, aka For Real Silla with 90 Days Can Do and MLS. Let's hope today's video goes better than yesterday. So, I need some technical help because I started my phone and I started recording and I realized the the camera was upside down so it was capturing stuff so I turned the camera the opposite way thinking it was self-correct and since I was videoing and saw myself in the right direction assumed that it was videoing properly and of course it wasn't so my whole video was upside down that's just crazy I don't know but hey it could be like you know symbolic so let's just say all right we had a symbolic upside down day on the thursday and it recorded that way for whatever reason i don't know if you um don't want to look at my mug you can always just listen close your eyes and listen to what i'm saying unless you can't stand the sound of my voice and some people might not you know sometimes i don't even like it and uh, i just heard another person say the same thing the other day so i'm I'm glad to know that I'm not the only one who has these feelings of like, you know, inadequacies. Um, we do all have them and uh, we try to overcome them by practicing or by um, putting ourselves in position, stepping outside of the box, um, you know, out of your comfort zone and um, doing things, you know, that um, don't strike you as easy to do. I had to be um, able to speak publicly because of my position also because I always was advocating for something so when time came to speak up and no one else would I'll be that one um, could I do it in the proper way all the time no I could not actually I had a lot of problems with that um, before and now sometimes people may even still feel that what may come out of my mouth may not be ethical or it should be um, it would be maybe possibly misplaced it can happen it can happen to all of us um, however I try now to, to think more before I speak listen more again we do have two ears and one mouth um, learn be coachable um, continue to care continue to give people good vibes try my best to um, advocate for I think we're going to park away today. And um, just continue to be the best me that I can be for myself, for my children, for my grandchildren, for my guy, and for my staff. You know, I have a team of people that rely on me at work, and that sometimes is a lot. It's, it's, not, um, it's not always easy being a program manager and dealing with different personalities, different issues everybody has their own issues and when i'm saying everybody everybody um we all collectively have so much going on in our lives day to day and it's 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 sad and it's empowering all at the same time you know um i listen to my staff we talk about things you know issues problems health relations other other very very significant and impactful issues and people still keep going people are still showing up people are still working people are still sane and it's not always easy so i get that I really fully understand and I respect so much the people who give and give and give continually and raise the bar and push that envelope and go hard at work and those who, who are doing what they need to be doing every day and those who are always offering to do more, kudos to you, kudos to you and you know who you are and I appreciate you fully, I really do, you cannot imagine how gratefully you impact my world all right and it's not just about work only it's about what we do it's about the mission it's about the agency mission it's about people having having us you know the availability of us in this county um the things that we do the lives that we touch the people we impact on a daily basis and the people that we impact you know, over the years, whether 
they acknowledge us publicly or not. There are so many people who have heartfelt thanks for what we do. It's minute as what we think it may not be. It's just a response, a, a, a written response, an email response, a phone call back, a, you know, a follow-up in regard to a concern or a, a question. It's all impactful. It all makes a difference. It's all very, um, it, it just makes a difference. It makes people's mindset different. It helps relieve stresses of life and sometimes worry from people who are going through things that you have no idea what they're going through. You might be thinking that, oh, they can wait or this and that, I'll get back to them whenever. No, it's an urgent matter. If it's not urgent for you, it's urgent for them. So then that goes back to what I was saying about today's word, you know, the acronym, immediate, immediate response. Act, you know, what's immediate for you may not be immediate for another, but then again, think about God's time, you know, because an instant, an instant can be a year, a year can be a second, you know, it's just like a blink of an eye, you don't know what frame of time span that blink is for another, for a being, for God, for us. But we need to learn to look into ourselves and learn to respect everybody around us and then act how we would like to be treated by those people. And that's how you um, you manifest greatness. That's how you get your job done. Whether it's, you know, socio-economical or whether it's compassion or whether it's actual hard earnest work you know you gotta care about what you're doing you have to have a passion somewhere you have to really believe that you make a difference in somebody's life somewhere and that will continue to feed you and give you that drive to be better at everything that you do so when I when I'm working and I multitask a lot and you know I feel like sometimes I don't achieve in a day what I want to achieve not sometimes shoot a lot of times but I do a lot and when I accomplish a full day's work when I when I feel like I've achieved a lot in a day it just feels so great it just makes me feel so much better um i like when i'm very busy i love when the days go quickly and time flies when you're busy you know i i always i'm working on three or more projects or things at one time and what i need to start doing again is going back to what i was doing set myself a schedule and don't break it because i find that I find that I break my own schedule. Sometimes I um, I set off to start a task and then I get sidebarred. Somebody might say, hey, I need your help to I'm do this. Okay, then I'm doing that. And I need to stop doing that. So these are things, patterns from the past I'm looking at that I want to improve upon and that I will because I'm gonna chart it and I'm gonna have to write myself a little schedule. I might have different tasks for different days or I might go back to my hour blocks the time blocks but you know I for me days work better for certain tasks so if I have hour blocks for let's say how much I'll, I'll just answer phones and answer emails for two hours in a day that may work but what if urgent email comes in at the end of the day or at the beginning of the day and I didn't look at it because I'm waiting until the afternoon to read email. So it's, it's just sometimes difficult to chart those waters. But when I sit down and say I'm going to report, maybe recordings are only done on Fridays or recordings are only done on Thursdays. You know, I have to give myself um, days for certain tasks because certain tasks take a lot longer than others. Um, unfortunately, the way our system is set up now, reporting could take me anywhere from 35 minutes to four hours. 
depending on what numbers or what demographics I'm trying to pull. It depends on if I have to generate a new query or if the tables are not calculated right or stuff that just doesn't seem right and I have to test the query. You know, I'm just like, wow. So, um, orientation and, and going through a work day can be challenging for some people, some for some times for me. And what I'm just saying is I like when a team comes together and plays well and does everything that they're supposed to be doing. Everybody's in their place where they should be doing what they're supposed to be doing. It helps things and it eliminates stress from my day and it eliminates stress from the clients that we serve and also from our directors because they know that we're working our best to make things happen. So. I'm going to stop talking about that and I want to talk about this weather. Oh my God, it's chilly and it's raining. I am praying for great weather in the upcoming weeks. I have to travel. I do not want to travel when it's frigid outside, like 30 or lower. And I would love a clear, nice, safe journey and uh, not have to worry about ice or you know snow or anything like that so or delays and, and things like that so god grant us this great weather for the next couple of months you know uh, give us a mild winter i uh, really not into the snow thing i drive a lot of commute and now i'll be traveling up and on and i i really need that this being you know a good a good climate for us i really appreciate it so now i'm going back to um thoughts. I'm going to anchor them today. I, I tell people don't procrastinate. And again, I'm going back to immediate. You know, the things that we decide to do in life that may change our outcomes, whether they're um, financial things, things that are going to change our lives financially, or if they are things that are going to impact us in a relationship, or if the things, changes that's going to occur that's going to impact our home life, like whether to buy new furniture or whether to paint a wall bright green or whether to install ceiling fans or to remodel or any anything that is going to change your world. Be it um, eating habits or patterns or exercise routines or choosing what kind of vehicles you want to drive and having, um, you know, having your ideal mate or whatever it is. And you're, and you're deciding, you're trying to make up your mind about things. Don't, don't procrastinate. Set, set your mind. So when you want something, it's something that you want, act on it. Shoulda, coulda, woulda is not going to do it. I'm going I'm to I'm tell you about an argument me and my niece had. <laughs> and this was so horrible. I mean, it really, it, it really hurt my feelings and it hurt my, my heart deeply. And it is because I went to visit my niece in Florida. This was quite a few years back. And shit, I was, I was watching the people on the jet skis in the water. Jet skis, you know, and they have rentals. You can rent a jet ski and go out in the water. But what she don't know is I'm not a strong swimmer. I've never been a strong swimmer. I can swim and I can float. I used to be able to float really great and it saved my life on a couple of occasions learning, knowing how to float. But I was watching the people in the water with the jet skis and I kept saying like, oh man, I wanna do that, I wanna do that. But she wasn't like, I wanna do that. So I'm like, damn, I'm waiting for her to be like, yeah, I wanna do that too, let's do it. But she didn't. So every day we went to the beach and I would see them and I was like, wow, that looks like so much fun. And it did, you know, I'm just talking out loud, thinking my thoughts out loud, but I really was, I wanted to go out on a jet ski, but I was afraid. 
I was afraid because I'm like, what if I fall off? Am I gonna drown? Am I gonna get hit with the jet ski? Am I gonna fall off and embarrass myself? Am I gonna fucking turn the wrong way and go get lost and don't know how to get back to the, the starting point? Like, am I gonna just do something real messed up, all right? So all of that stuff was going through my mind and she didn't understand that because she was like, damn it, Seal. She was like, damn it, CC, if you want to go on a jet ski, just go on a jet ski. Like, stop saying if you're going to do it, just do it. Now I'm mad. I'm like, excuse me? Like, who the fuck are you talking to? Excuse me. But I was like, uh, wow. I was like, well, I ain't hear you say you want to go on a jet ski. She's like, because I don't want to go on a jet ski, but you just keep saying it, so you must want to go, so just go on it. And I was like, no, nah, no, I'm scared. Like, I didn't tell her I'm scared. I'm just like, no, nah, I don't want to go by myself. She was like, hmm, well, then stop saying it. I'm like, why you tell me what to stop saying? It was annoying her that I couldn't make my choice to go do something that I kept obviously saying I wanted to do. I was expressing my desires, maybe trying to psych myself up enough by verbalizing it out loud in her presence that I wanted to do it, but I didn't want to do it alone. And sometimes you have to do things alone to achieve what you want. Sometimes you need to be able to just not talk about it, but be about it and just go ahead and do it. So as the day, you know, as time progressed, we talked, but it got into a little heated debate and we kind of had a falling out and I'm over there in Florida like, damn, okay, it's time for me to go to hell home, but I'm fighting for a few days. So we talked, right? And we made up, of course. And I learned a lesson from that and this is what I know to be true about my niece and I love her to death and this is this is so so powerful she's not a procrastinator if she wants something she goes after it and she gets it or she doesn't but she does what she wants to do she does not sit and say oh, I think I should do this I wonder if I could do that or I want to do this this girl when she want to do something she just goes and do it and that is great but that's a trait that's a personality trait that's a you know a mindset that not everybody has some people have to talk their way into stuff. Some people have to bring themselves to believe that they can do it. Now, of course, I know logically, jet ski is nothing but a, a motorcycle or a, basically a bike and all you do is turn ignition. I mean, I could probably ride it with no problem and not have any issues with it. But I'm a little chicken sometimes. And as much stuff as I do, I can still be scared of certain activities. Like I just, I just really was like, I don't want to drown. That was my thing. I don't want to get lost. I don't want to fall off the jet ski, lose the jet ski, or crash or something like that. And I'm like, oh my god, it's gonna be horrible. And it probably would have been like one of the funnest events of my life. And I still have never ridden a jet ski yet. And I will one day. <laughs> I might be like 60, but I will. And Listen, I know functionally how to ride a bike, a dirt bike, a motorcycle, and all of that stuff and have yet to do it. My guy rides, you know. I have little teeny nieces that were little kids and they ride dirt bikes and stuff like that. And like, really? I'm a big punk when it comes to stuff like that. So. I just found that amusing and I'm saying this to say that if you want something, don't procrastinate. You might be missing out on something really fun or exciting for your life. You can change things, you know, in the blink of an eye, you can you can achieve uh, a lot. You can have a great result by going for what you want. Don't sit back and let anybody, don't let anybody determine your time frame for getting something done 
don't let anybody stop you from going for something or pursuing something that you really want. Don't give up on your dreams. Don't give up on your dreams and your desires because of what other people feel or say. If you want something, go for it. Don't be a procrastinator, right? So immediate action sometimes works best. Sometimes don't think about it. Just do it. Impulsive um, things, as long as it's not impulsive buying, it should be, um, could be beneficial for you depending on, depending on the nature of the, of the beast. You know what I'm saying? Yes, pick and choose wisely. Yes, you can do research. But once you make up your mind, don't let nothing deter you from it. Don't let, um, you know, fear, FUD, fear, uncertainty, and doubt cloud your vision or determine your 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 life style or, or your results. Because if you do that, then you will always be behind other people. You'll be a follower. You won't be a leader, you won't be an innovator, and you need to be able to, to, to just act on faith. Sometimes believe in yourself, believe that you can do it no matter what it is. Just think think more, be more, raise the bar. Um, think about the lives you can impact, the, the changes that you can make in your life to be more successful and have freedom and, and just feel good about your choices and the opportunities that you can afford to others after you've made it to a certain level. You can help elevate other people's lives by putting yourself in a position where you're an enabler that you can help people to do better. So that's all I'm saying. I know, again, don't wait until tomorrow because tomorrow's not promised today is here it's guaranteed as, as long as you're in the day and in the now and yesterday can be your testimony so if you have not done the action daily and taken upon yourself to do something great just step out on faith and um that's it i'm gonna go i wish you guys the best weekend ever and you know keep doing what you're doing don't give up don't stop get it get it and just go for yours. Have a great weekend, guys. Bye.